up YouTube? We're back with another episode of What the Hell Am I Doing? Today, I've got a really cool explore for you guys. This place is kind of uh, an interesting place. It's something that I drive by all the time. It's a place that I think has been abandoned for 15 or so years, maybe even longer, and it's been open for years as well. So I'm not sure what to expect when we get inside, but I'm hoping this place is gonna be cool. The place I'm talking about, this farmhouse right here behind me, absolutely huge it looks very cool i think we need to get inside and see what's going on Okay, so we're gonna start this one exploring the property before we go inside. And right away, we've got a building there. We've got a building here. We've got a little garage there. And of course, we've got the house right here. Well, let's check all these places out first before we get into the house. Let's start with this one over here since it's the furthest. And there's all, this is part of the other building, so we'll check that one next. Guard dog security trespassing. Trespassing is loud, apparently. So I guess we'll go in the front door here. Okay, so we are, what the heck is this? <laughs> what kind of machine is this? It's a farming machine. It's a farming machine, but if you guys know exactly what kind this is, let me know in the comments. It's massive. Yeah, this is really big. I've never seen anything like this. This must be the garage it belonged in. I don't think anybody's storing it here. Look at those lights. Like it's got serious shop lights up there. Those are those high pressure lights, HPS lights or whatever, high pressure sodium or whatever they are, I can't remember. And you've got all these bolts and nuts. So this is probably for servicing this monster. And look at these tires, like, I don't know if you guys can get a scope of how big this is, but standing next to this, this tire comes to about my shoulder almost. Yeah, well, she used Noah as an example. He's he's a little guy compared to me. I'm like five nine. <laughs> yeah, five he's ten. he's little, but yeah, you can see, <laughs> you know, this thing is absolutely massive. It's a Terragator sixteen oh three. It's a pesticide applicator. It was nineteen ninety six. That's when this thing was last used, possibly. Did that with the rock. That's really strong. So, uh, that's pretty cool. Nobody's messed with it. It's dusty and stuff everywhere. But... That's a cool seat. That's a very nice seat. That would have been comfortable. Look, you've got like a radio control. You got your pressure controls. You got all sorts of stuff. This is wild. This is wild. Look, you even got some kind of fluid there. That might be washer fluid. You've got fans up there. This is cool. Oh, I just hit myself in the head with the light. What's up here? Is it empty? Yep. Again, you can see the serious shop light stuff from up here. It's even a heater. So this was a pretty nice garage at one point in time. And it's got the, the beacon light on the top too. All right, so now we're down from this thing. I guess we're done in here. But yeah, that's cool. 
I just heard Noah point this out, so I should show you guys this too. This chain here, it's pretty heavy duty. You've got some hooks on it. It goes up to this pulley system that's running off the, the I-beam there. Most likely that was all used to service the machinery or help lift parts up or transfer them on and off the machines. There's even a chain up there on the main I-beam too, so they might have even used that to support certain things. This thing is wild though. Look at that diesel filter, you got the pressure gauge, like it's hard to believe this thing's been sitting here possibly for 27 years. Possibly. I mean, that's when it was licensed last, so who knows. I mean, even the chains, like those pulleys are very rusty. It hasn't moved in a long time. Let's go out here. Then we've got a garage over here. Okay, and this is a much more simple garage. It's got an old tool area or some kind of a storage area with cubbies. Some basic shelving. Yeah, they blocked off the entrance to the other side. Yeah, that is strange. And they blocked off, looks like a window with some old signage. Yeah, there's not much to see in here, but you can tell it's a pretty old barn. It's, it's got better than the house. I guess if you open the garage door, you could get into it. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get into the other half, I don't think, unless it's open from this side here. No, it's ruining the video, guys. Sorry. <laughs> so this was probably like a greenhouse, I would think. Greenhouse on one side of the garage and a garage on the other. But unfortunately, whatever's inside is going to be locked away unless we can get in from here. And no, can't get in there. There is a doghouse, though, which is kind of cool. A neat little greenhouse. And over here, we've got this garage. It open. This does. So in here we don't have much to see either. It's just a little storage shed. We got a top like a cab for our vehicle. We got a cute chair from the kitchen probably. You got a couple seats from the vehicle. Some coolant. And that's probably about it. So now I guess we'll just make our way over to the house. That's the house right here. Well, we can get into this one. There's a door over there that's open. Oh, well, there is a door, so we'll check this garage first. I just noticed I didn't see that when I was going around. This is the house that we're going to go into here. It's a beauty. It's right off a major road. Got to be a little careful. It's a cool place, though. And yeah, there is an opening on the side here, so. Good eye by Noah. We're gonna find out what's in here. And yeah, you can see somebody wanted in, they just cut a hole. Actually, it looks like they removed the door. So in here, we just got old tire storage. Some on rims, some, most not. And this is just an add-on that's been added on to the garage here. As you can see, there's a garage roof. You still can't get into it. And over here we got a door. Oh, and there's nothing in here. It's just some shelving and a light. Not much to see. Huh. All right, let's work our way over to the house. You can see the hydrometer's still there, but it's actually off. There's no power anymore. Why they even got it, usually they do. 
take a quick look around the house. That looks like an entry point there we're going to go in. That's a cool balcony. That's very cool. Don't forget about the ticks. That's why he's stupid to go through. Let's just take a look at the back side here real quick. Well, we got to be careful. There's a major road here. But yeah, here's the back side of the house. That's a cool bay window. Some pretty serious looking decay on the wall there. All right, let's go inside and check this one out. Okay, guys, we're going to start this one in the back side of the house where the uh, entry point is. And as you can see, right here, there's a little bit of damage. Uh, it looks like time and rot has led to this hole. And probably the final push was an explorer or somebody trying to break into this place. But here we are. I believe this is the front door. It's kind of at the side of the house. It's an interesting little room. You got a friendly little border to welcome your guests. Friends, love, blessings. You got a cool old school light here in the room. You even got, even got a closet here. And uh, there's nothing in the closet. Ooh, the floor is very soft underneath me. There's nothing in the closet, but there's a couple of hangers for Brandon. We know he loves those. So we'll turn around this way now. And let's start heading into this house, see what we got. Right away, I see a, looks like a wedding photo. Yeah. I'll kind of show you guys the photos and things like that. And if you want to look in greater detail, you can pause. In here, we got, uh, looks like an entryway to the basement. We've got the old electrical panel here. It's been gutted, pulled apart. We turn around this way and we've got the kitchen. And it's a fairly large kitchen. I like this one. Got some very short farmhouse stairs. Look at that painting. <laughs> That's just kind of sitting there. You got the oven here wide open. This looks like a 90s oven. This is a, it's either a hydrogen or one of those magnetic ones. I believe it's hydrogen. Or the, the bulb, sorry, the hydrogen bulb, or whatever they're called. Uh, you can see there, yeah, it's got the old touch display, so it's definitely like a 90s frigid air. You got a very cool hood above the oven here. It's very classy. I like the look of that with the stone finish in the background. I don't think that's real stone, but it looks pretty cool nonetheless. I think backsplash is a little different, but you know what? This place has character. You've got the two exposed beams here. They're not timber beams, though. They're beams made out of two by four. Uh, I hear somebody coming down. You said they're beams made of two by fours? Yeah, they're two by fours. These are two by fours. Oh, shit, they are. Yes, they are. I want your language, Noah. You then, right? <laughs> <laughs> but yes, as you can see, we got two by four made up beams. Oh god, it's even worse. Do you see the gaps in it? Yeah. I didn't mm -hmm. notice that. Yeah, that's on purpose. Whew. They got that, but then they have an I beam. <laughs> Makes sense. And over here, yeah, like Noah was just pointing out. We got an exposed I-beam going across the roof of the, the ceiling of the kitchen here. Strange. Strange design choice for sure. Even the uh, 2 by 4 beam. It's not the same look as timber. This is very cool. That looks like a spice rack. That's kind of just built into the cabinetry here beside the, uh, the hood, which is cool. And you've got these little containers, which are all empty, of course. What's inside the hood? Oh, it's... That's interesting. There's lights. This stall in there, lights and fan. They got it all duct taped to keep it clean. And the oven's kind of rusting away. And over here, what do we got? Another spice rack? No, over here we got like a rack to hang spatulas and utensils. Very cool covers. Look how thin that is. That is very thin. And the cupboards don't look new. 
I would say they're probably 70s. The hood does kind of look newer, but I think it's just because it looks classy, it still looks modern. But I would say most of this kitchen's probably stuck in the 60s or 70s. Even the Tim Hortons cups, they're old. Yeah, they got the good lids on them. And they got the good lids, so you know they're old. You got an interesting light here by the kitchen window. Of course, I love the sink by the kitchen window. And they would have had a dishwasher hiding in there beside the fridge, which is really far away from everything. By this massive bay window with a bench. That would have been a very cool spot to sit, especially in the evenings. This face is west, so they would have gotten the evening sun coming in that bay window. And this door here with this cool glass in it. I wouldn't say it's really stained glass. And they've got this beautiful screen door behind it. So, <laughs> I just scared no opening the door. But yeah, you see, they would have gotten some nice exposure to that uh, evening light, which would obviously be beautiful here. We'll just close this door again. Yes, I did. I was going to straighten out the painting so we get a better look at it. Yeah, that's just a beauty. Fall scene by the creek. It's got to be up north. <laughs> it's got to be up north in Canada somewhere. Okay. Like Poland. <laughs> oh, yeah, watch it be somewhere else. Oh, yeah, we got over here. We didn't even look over here yet. So over here would have been like the dining area of the kitchen. And you've got a cool chandelier. Celebrate your special occasions, I guess. We got a couple of nice windows here. I like these big farmhouse windows. And we got pictures all over the floor. I'll just kind of take a quick look, see what we got. So we got someone with their baby. The same person with some kind of man. There's lots of babies. Looks like people with their friends. Maybe photos from a wedding like the other one that we found when we first came in. There's a couple there. This one almost looks like celebrities. I'm not sure if that's a real picture of people or if it just looks like that. It almost looks familiar. You got like a family photo there or something. Over here. Yeah, that looks like looks like a wedding or some kind of celebra celebratory occasion. Oh, you got a cute little puppy there. They're always part of the family, aren't they? It's crazy seeing all this stuff just sitting here. And surprisingly, people haven't destroyed it. The elements haven't really gotten to it, so we get to, we get to get have a look. Ugh. We get to have a look at it. Yeah, like through and through, like the house is actually still built pretty well. Yeah, yeah, it's holding up quite well because I would say this place has probably been abandoned for at least fifteen years. Yeah, probably more, really like twenty. But oh, look at this. Yeah. Got a nest, some kind of bird nest. It's made out of mud, mostly. It's made very well. Yeah, it's made very well. I'm not sure what birds make nests like that, but it's not like a robin or anything. Oh, it could be a hummingbird nest. Maybe. Hmm. If you guys know in the comments, let me know. All right, let's wander upstairs, see what's going on up here. I think we covered down here. So we come up here and there's like a central kind of area here. This looks like another kind of family room type space. You got the big fireplace here, the central part of the room. Look at that, that's pretty cool. Nice stone fireplace going all the way up the ceiling. It's got a beautiful hand carved mantle, which is pretty cool. And even the screen. It's a classy brass screen, but actually as we look at this, oh look at that, it's not a real fireplace, it's an electric fireplace, and they had candles in there. So this isn't a real fireplace, but they made a good attempt at making it look like one. That's pretty wild. Look at the trim around these doors. It's that classic thick barn house trim that I love. You got cool wainscoting going around the room. 
two massive windows to let the southern light in. Just look at the size of those. They're like two and a half, three feet wide. They're pretty much six feet tall. They're huge. And then we got the southern wall of this, or the west wall of this room. Not much to see there. So there's an upstairs here, and there's a bathroom here. We'll try, take a look at the bathroom first, and then we'll go upstairs. So you go in here. Right away, we got a very kind of retro looking bathroom, but it's it's still kind of classy. You could tell that at the time, this was a very nice bathroom. You got two nice sconces on the wall beside the mirror. You got beautiful pedestal stink, sink. Not stink. <laughs> and I just noticed this actually has hinges on it. It's empty. That's a very cool medicine cabinet. I like that mirror a lot. You go over here, and you've got this tub that's really high up. Did you open it? Yes. Okay. You got this tub that's really high up. It's got a stool to even get into it. <laughs> Look at this sucker. So this is a this is a jacuzzi tub. And it's an older one. This is probably like an 80s jacuzzi. It looks like what we had in the house I had growing up. So it's pretty dated. It's got some turds in it. But what's cool about it, it's sitting beside this awesome big window. Again, it's probably about three feet wide almost. Very nice. And in the back corner of the kitchen here, sorry, the bathroom. Last house I did had a bathroom in the kitchen, but you can check that video out. But over here, you got a cabinet and you got the toilet. You even got a little shelf here in the corner. I'm not sure what that was for. Maybe for a plant, maybe for the cigarettes. So this opens. This opens too. And there's nothing in it. Nothing in there except for a plunger and some vim. All right. Like a shag carpet on it. Yeah, a shag carpet. Oh, is that a trunk? Does that open? No, it's just broken. <laughs> it's just broken. How did you try to step into the tub butt ass naked? Bang! Right in the knee. Fall over. <laughs> Okay, so let's see what we got over here. We got a big shower. This is one of those insert showers. So this shower is probably a little bit more modern. I bet you this thing was probably thrown in here in the 80s. It's typical 80s insert shower, but it's big. It's one of the bigger ones. It's got a half decent shower head, even though it's pretty old. This room is very high ceiling, by the way. Um, these ceilings are probably 12 feet high at least. It's very tall in here. The toilet's actually quite elegant looking as I look at it one last time. It's a nice toilet. This is definitely a nice bathroom in its heyday. So then we come out here. We're going to check out this upstairs area that we didn't see yet. So up here, this looks like another entertainment area or living space that people will hang out in. Maybe a bedroom, like a loft type bedroom. Not a whole lot to see up here. I really like those railings though. They're basic, but they're that typical farmhouse stairwell railing look. And usually they're well built, and well built and pretty cool. Up here they have double doors going outside, so I can only imagine that there was a balcony or a deck there. And you've got some low windows here. <laughs> so that's kind of interesting. And this railing, it might be from the deck outside. If there is a deck. That's a really cool window though. Massive three pane window. Again, this would have let a lot of light into the room during the day, especially in the afternoon. And over here, we got a pretty serious amount of decay. Looks like at one time they had a vent going outside for a, for a stove or something. And that's been since plugged. Look at the way that paint's just peeling off the wall. <laughs> It's crazy. Oh, and there's a nice touch up here too. If you look at the ceiling, you got some nice wood paneling running across the center. It's not the whole ceiling, but it's the center part of the ceiling. It's pretty classy. It's a nice finish. You don't see that everywhere. Okay, we'll go this way. See what's on the other half of this room here. So this is an interesting door. It looks like it's been painted like a jailhouse door. 
That's very much what it looks like, doesn't it? Hmm. You go into this room. And... Huh. Well, this is strange. We've got a track light on the ceiling here. And uh, the floors are laminate. That's strange. You got some wood paneling. It's not too fancy. It's that barn paneling. And you've got these cabinets or cupboards on the wall. It looks like a, maybe a stool or a seating spot there. I don't know if this is a change room or what this is. Especially with the lights up there. That's interesting. What do you guys think went on in here? Let me know in the comments. So we'll go over here now. There's a lockable door to go upstairs. Glass has been smashed out of it. Oh, look at this. Paint's just peeling off the walls. You can see that they, looks like they wallpapered over wallpaper because you've got this textured wallpaper in the background there and then they painted over the wallpaper, they wallpapered over it. And this is what looks like the wallpaper they used looks like. Or maybe that's paint. That's interesting. There's more of the original wallpaper up there. This is another big room. There's a door outside. This might be the front door of the house, maybe. Yeah, it's got a knocker on it. Look at that door. It's got a beautiful light or a beautiful window above it. I think they call that a transium. And then you've got the solid door. Just solid. I mean, that is like over an inch thick. It's probably an inch and a quarter thick. That's a very serious door. This room's really cool. It's got three massive windows. That one lifts, actually they all open. So that's, this place would have been really cool for airflow. And obviously the light coming in in the morning from, from this side here and going across these windows during the afternoon would have been a great room. If you look up there, that's some pretty serious looking decay. So let's go see what's in these rooms first. And we got a devil's toy here. <laughs> There's not much in this room, just a big window. It's actually kind of a small room. Maybe this was an office or something at one point. Who knows? There's a hanger on the wall. Again, the ceiling's very tall. It's probably 12 feet in here at least. But not a whole lot to see in this room. Somebody threw the thermostat in the vent there. Now here we got another room, another small room. There's a light switch. <laughs> yeah, that would tell you that's the light switch. What's crazy though, if you look up here, we've got this Christmas wreath. It's just hanging. It looks like, yeah, there might have been a light fixture in it at some point in time. I'm not sure why this is hanging in here. My only guess is they had nowhere else to put it, so they put it in here when they're not using it. It's pretty cool, though. Other than that, there's not much in this room. It's a small room. Got this massive window. Got a couple mirrors. You've got this door with some really serious paint decay. Look at that hardware. That's some really old hardware there. That's probably 1940s or earlier hardware. Maybe even 30s. You guys tell me in the comments. Wait, how old do you think that door hardware is? Okay, let's work our way upstairs. Oh, this goes downstairs. Okay, we'll check that last. We'll check the basement last. Okay, so this goes upstairs. So this might be a servant quarters, I think. The stairs are kind of narrow. The house is old enough that they would have had something like that. Well, that's a nice window. And yeah, it's not a very big room up here. So this may, may very well have been a servant's quarters. That's a cool light there. That would have given the room some cool ambiance at one point in time. If you look back though, very cool three window window, three pane window. It's just a basic room. There's not much to see up here. 
get a closet here. It's empty, I'm probably sure. Yep. And there's something on the floor, so maybe somebody was crashing here at one point in time on this. We've got an attic space here. Not a whole lot to see. Got some cobwebs in there. And over here we got another closet, looks like attic too. Let's take a look at this one. Yeah, not much to see. An interesting light for the closet there though. It's just kind of rigged in there, but still that's cool. That's just a panel covering. It's like a shelf panel. In here we got turds. And we got uh, an empty attic space again. And over here, we got some playing cards on the floor. You got a cool window here, three pane window. I love these old farmhouse windows. They're all cool. Huge, small. They all have their own character. Well, yeah, that's this room up here. So we'll work our way down to the basement now and see what's going on down there and wrap this explorer up. Tell me in the comments if you guys like houses like this. And if I've been spot on about some of the things I'm saying, like this being a quarters for a servant. I'm always willing to learn if you guys know better. All right, so let's go down here. So this area is painted black, which is interesting. Like the walls are painted black. We've got these ghost decorations here. That's kind of interesting. And you may have had a black light here. I think that's a black light. Let's go down. Uh, it doesn't say what that is. I think it's a black light. You got a glow in the dark mouse there. Cage here on the side. This is weird. You got a door with the initials KT on it. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, there it is, KT. And down over here, we got the actual basement. So, yeah, this is kind of creepy. Just show you beside the stairs here before we go further in. They've actually kind of fenced it off with like a plastic fence. And it's boarded off behind. I don't know if there was lights in there at some time. Even over here. Well, look at that. That must be part of the furnace. I think it's crazy. So even down here, spray painted a bit. There's definitely been signs of water. Look at the walls. Crazy stone walls painted yellow. It just looks really odd. Somebody cut a hole through this, it seems. Definitely been water down here. Look at this. Don't enter. It doesn't open, so I guess you can't. Over here, you got an unfinished wall. What is that, an old screen door? It is. It's a windscreen door. You got some of the old windows from this place. That's cool. I like that. You got more of this painted stone basement foundation, which is, it looks cool because it's painted. It gives it a bit of a different look. You got an old workbench here. Obviously, there's nothing left on it now. Very ancient looking chair. You've got your uh, oil tank. You've got another electrical panel. This is probably the original one to the house. I'm starting to get the feeling this place may have had a couple of additions put onto it, and that's why there's two electrical panels. Somebody tried to steal some copper or wiring or something, I think. Look at this. you got the furnace here. It's quite large. And you've got another furnace here. You've got the remains of a furnace. There's the old blower down the bottom there. I doubt there's a date on there. No. Actually, yeah, 0502. 
So this furnace is a little bit more modern. It's about 20 years old. Over there you got a container full of liquid. Huh. Okay, let's continue through and see what's in here. Ooh, that's not gross. That's, this is interesting. This is like uh, this is like an old laundry room. That's a cool table. I like that one. It's a very cool table. Someone made it, but everybody should have a table like that they can work on. We've got some skids down here. Look at those basement windows. They're absolutely huge. <laughs> now you're lucky if you get a little one-foot window. There's another one there. Looks like they have a water pump. That might be for outside. And you got water softening stuff. And there's your laundry room sink. This is cool. Old cabinet, empty. There's nothing in here either. Oh, well, there's a spackle bucket, but I don't think anything's in it. That's kind of heavy. Oh, look at that. That is a water tank that needed replacing long ago. My goodness. That thing's the worst water tank I've ever seen. Yeah, I've never seen one like that before. Like, have you ever seen a water tank with a hole in it? Nope. Nope. Oh my God. It's bad. <laughs> yeah, you just. It's bad. In here we got, uh, well that's interesting, we got some plants. So these were outdoor plants they brought in to overwinter. And now they're dead. And this is where all these things are coming from. They're down here. I can't help but show you guys. Um... You know, it's just filming that thing out there, the water tank. Another big window. <laughs> now we're here. It's a really big basement actually. Over here we got an abandoned fridge. It's not going to stink because it's open. Nothing in it, but you know what? There's a freezer here too. And there's water in the freezer. Piece of water. It's moldy. Ugh. How old does water have to be be moldy? The bottles are moldy. <laughs> And then you got this little cabinet here. This is probably a dresser, I would say. Yeah, it's an old dresser. It's a 1942 Victorian dressing cabinet. Is it? No. No. <laughs> no, it's just, no, it's just teasing you guys with some fake knowledge, but that's cool. I think that is going to cover the basement. Because if I turn this way, we've got stairs going back up. To the kitchen. <laughs> Alright everybody, that's going to wrap it up for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this explore. I know I did. This place kind of surprised me considering it's been sitting for probably 15 plus years and it's very wide open. Surprising to see that inside is actually not messed up. And it really made for a cool explore. And I hope you guys agree. So please make sure you hit that like button. Oh, and I'm trying to get to a new goal. We're trying to get this channel to a thousand subscribers. It would really help the channel if you guys could subscribe if you haven't. It doesn't cost anything. All you gotta do is click that button. So if you could do that for me, I'd really, really appreciate it. It'll help the channel grow and we'll get into bigger and better explorers. Well, that's all the time we got for this one. Please make sure you hit that like button. Click that subscribe button there if you haven't. And of course, you can check out the last video there or the random video up there. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.